Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. Oof, I am so, 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 <laughs> so tired. Um, for those that may be new to my channel, guys, this is Baby Aspen. He is the prototype sculpt Aspen sculpted by Claire Teller and from Claire Teller Dolls. He um, is a vinyl newborn baby. Yes, he is. So, yes, I am. And his kits, blank, the blank kits will be out. Um, or the pre-orders will start pretty soon. Um, but for right now, um, he is the prototype. And we have, I guess we're waiting on the other prototype artist to show their version of him and uh, Abby. Um which I'll be showing my Abby soon with her hair. Um, it's funny, I had, um, yesterday I watched this long documentary that um, Hey There Spooky Face shared on her page. Guys, um, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below after you watch the video. Um, but yeah, um, and make sure you share my, my channel with your friends so that they can come back and watch too. But yeah, I was watching a documentary that, um, it's an old one and I've seen it before, but I couldn't help but watch it again. And, um, it just made me remember, uh, when I first came into the community, I know a lot of people talk about that all the time. And some people that are just coming into the community now probably like, Oh my God, people always saying, when I came into the community, it was different. It was nicer. It was this. It was that. And um, it really was different for me. And I think part of the experience was different because I wasn't aware of a lot of things that goes on in the, the community. <laughs> I just tried to zoom it in closer to him and <laughs> my blanket fell. But yeah, I think it's because I wasn't aware of, you know, a lot of the different issues and things that um, goes on in the community. So I think it just made me um, just very, you know, naive to the bad parts. And so all I was seeing was the good and it just felt so good. So sometimes I think it's good when people aren't so deep into, you know, the politics or the, the the conversations that's going on um, it it definitely changes your experience in the community but nevertheless I have loved these dolls from the moment I spot them I spotted them I I I have been a strong collector from day one I was hooked you know um, so for me, it is so much about the dolls. It's also, when I first came in, I won't lie, it was just about the dolls. Like, because I've always loved dolls. So it was just about the dolls. Even though I have, you know, a daughter and a son that are natural artists and stuff. I actually, you know, I'm with my daughter because she went to art school. You know, I had to be involved with different things. And so, you know. I liked art from there, but I never thought about it. I used to always collect like wall art and stuff like that, but I didn't I didn't make any correlation between the dolls and and wall art and stuff like that. I just came for the dolls originally. But then I started looking at the hands and feet and learning and the um, you know, the faces, the sculpts and just started learning that how they were made and painted and all that and I was like, "Wow." You know, then I became fascinated with the art part of it, aspect of aspect of it. And I think that's when I started um, in my head putting more value on the dolls when I realized the art part of of everything. I had no intentions of ever painting or anything like that. Um, I just because I've never did anything pertaining to art. So I didn't think that I would even be able to or anything. I don't know, but it, you know, so I just, 
it just made me, you know, think and say, you know what? We we got it. I'm gonna change this diaper and stuff. I'm like, man. Sometimes I just have to take a moment and just remember, you know, the 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 part that is so rewarding about this hobby and what what I fell in love with to begin with. You know what I mean? Um, and so watching that video it just really made me think of that you know what i forgot i didn't bring your um you don't have your tummy plate so he has a half tummy plate and i was going to put him on that i mean no i no i wasn't i was gonna put him on this this you know just a t-shirt and a diaper um i really love him in like the little long sleeves and stuff and but when he wear just a shirt, I always think that he can, you know, it'll be nice for him to wear his tummy plate. But I could always put it in there later, put it on him later. But I've been, he, this is like the first time he's been without his tummy plate. And man, if I thought he was cuddly with it, without it, he's even more cuddly. Um, actually, yesterday while I was working on my full-time job, I had him with me, which was, you know, right in my my room or whatever and I was um just holding him while I was working and then I laid him across my lap and everything and it was just I don't know it was it was just um it was just this this feeling and everything just clicked because I was like trying to convince myself that you know all right so can I you know let go of the um, the prototype and that's the thing I know you know most prototype artists they definitely just sell all their their babies um, I have heard a few people say they have kept theirs but most of the time they pretty much their soul like they just paint go paint go and they probably get the the joy part out of just the painting them and seeing them done and then they can move on for me because I'm such a collector at heart it's very hard for me but not only that, I think it's because I'm, I, I've only had a few opportunities to actually paint um, prototypes or I've had other offers and have not did them, but you know what I mean. And um, so I think that, um, yeah, so I think that, that I think that that's why it's like it's it's very special to me um the only reason I let Cody go and I told you guys that that reason partially because of um the mommy that that has him I you know I thought it would be nice for her to have him and two because when I painted my Cody for my personal collection I wanted to do a to a very different look um but I thought it would be nice to paint the prototype very similar to the real um Cody um which his his um gr <clears throat> grandma did uh let me know that she definitely felt like he was like a spot-on match and she loved him so that felt really good and I I felt like I could let him go but I do have my Cody um, Cody Bear by Laura Tuzeros here to paint and so I'll keep that in my forever personal collection just so I have a sample of um you know the prototype that I did and um so you all know when I get old I can say oh I remember I did the prototype for this baby you know type thing and then um Aspen is the first one out of Abby and Aspen um, Aspen was the first to be completed as far as painting. He was the first one that, um, I started on them both together, but he was the first one that I completed. And so, um, I just, I just decided that I, I made a choice to officially say that I will keep Aspen in my collection. Um, you guys know the story. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Claritella and for 
to be able to be chosen to, um, you know, ask to do a prototype for her was like a big deal. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. It just, it just felt like a, a, a huge thing. Um, so yeah, um, but so I decided I was going to keep him. But the good part about that is um, because I'm not selling the prototype, it allows me room to be able to paint more of the kit. Because when I, I don't know, for me, I have this weird thing and that may change. I, I felt like, you know, when I do the prototype, I don't want to paint other babies. I just want to have one prototype, you know, out there that I painted. You know what I mean? Um, and I just, I don't know, I just thought that that would make that baby special. And so, um, so I did. So, so that's what I did there. So now that I'm going to keep Aspen, I'm definitely going to paint more Aspens when, um, the kids come out. Um, I don't know exactly if I'm going to do private orders. Um, I think I'm going to pretty much do, um, buy it nows, but I'm going to, you know, do different skin tones, all different skin tones. And I'm going to, um, get them rooted, of course, and look at your hair is a mess now. I'm going to get them rooted and I'm going to, um, I don't know if I'm going to change your diaper now. I think I'm, I'm not going to change your diaper by this minute. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to just paint different skin tones and then put them up for sale after they get rooted and stuff like that. So if you end up being one that's interested in one, um, you know, I will definitely, um, be posting them and stuff like that. But I am not going to quote prices now or anything of that nature because I don't know. Um, I never price my babies until they're finished, to be honest. Um, so that's that. So, yeah. And I probably most likely won't sell any bald. They will. The ones that, that I paint will definitely be all rooted. Um... So yeah, so that's that's that. And so that was one of my decisions. Um and like I told you guys, I'm expecting to I'm expecting um uh, my boy boy uh silicone baby and my girl silicone baby and um I have well I have quite a bit and I haven't decided for sure on that who's going to which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm going to put up for sale but I'm going to also have some silicone babies up for sale as well um once I finish my orders um which I'm getting you know very much closer to getting those done so I'll slowly have babies up for sale it just you know, I just feel like it's just going to be, it's just going to be a little while. Um, and it's been a, a fun ride. Yes. Right. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you guys like feel the change, um, in, in the community and stuff, but I miss it, but you know, what can we do? So I'm just enjoying him. And um, like I said, I'll give you guys an update on um, Abby when she returns. But that is all, guys. Just rambling. Where's your pacifier? Oh. I like him with a pacifier, but a lot of times I don't want to cover up his lips because I like his mouth. So um, I'll put him with a pacifier, but then I usually don't take it leave it in there long so anyway thanks guys for watching bye bye